Hello friends, today we are going to learn how to set up IMOIDC provider on AWS and how to use GitHub Actions and deploy something from GitHub to our AWS account and authenticate uh, ourselves or our repositories or the calls that are made from the custom uh, from the GitHub Actions, authenticate them using IAM OIDC provider. So let's go ahead and do that. So before we move forward, let's spend a couple of minutes to understand what is an IAM OIDC identity provider. So, so IAM OIDC identity providers are the entities in identity and access management that describe an external identity provider service that supports the open id connect standard such as google or salesforce in our case that entity is going to be github you can use iam oidc identity provider when you want to establish trust between an oidc compatible identity provider and your aws account in our case we are going to establish the trust between github and aws account when i say github I mean GitHub Actions and AWS account. This is useful when creating a mobile app or web applications that require access to AWS resources, but you don't want to create custom sign-on code or manage your own user identities. So usually, typically what used to happen is you create an IAM user and then you create access key and secret key and then you use those access keys and secret keys to to authenticate or to you know when you make a call to aws you use those access key and secret key to to when you're making that call and that way you know aws will say oh yeah these uh these access keys and secret keys that you're making the call with they are valid and they belong to this particular im user this particular im user has you know uh blah 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 permissions to do that to do whatever you're trying to do and it will allow you to do that and if you do if those permissions or, or whatever you're trying to do if the iam user does not have those permissions you of course you know you get an an error saying you know you are not you don't have uh, you, have, you are not supposed to you know you're you're you are not authorized to do that but the problem was that these access keys and secret keys they're risky right i mean they can get leaked and when you change you have to go and change those access keys and secret keys everywhere that you use you know it's a mess right so what we can do here is we can actually create an iam role and we can say that you know uh, this iam role can be assumed by a github action by by this github repository and these are the permissions that you know are associated with this you know uh to this im role that way if something goes wrong we don't have to worry about rotating the access keys and secret keys we can re-establish the trust create a new im role we can re-establish the trust and we can you know uh get rid of the old account so based on you know um uh, based on the security you know least privilege that is the best practice to do that so uh, that is exactly what we are trying to we are going to do so uh, hang tight and let's get on some hands-on work and see how we can do our uh, how we can authenticate github actions and you know deploy something from our github repository make the workflows call our aws account and you know uh, deploy some stuff so let's do that okay in order to create an IAM OIDC provider uh, we are going to deploy a cloud formation template that will take care of you know creating this IAM OIDC provider we will go through the template in just a minute and at the same time it will also create a bucket an S3 bucket because we are going to use Terraform to deploy you know uh, to create a VPC and some subnets that's all we are going to do uh, you can do whatever you want but this is simple right so this is uh the this is how the code looks like this is the cloud formation template and it is asking us uh so it has four parameters uh first parameter is the user or the github organization uh i do not have an organization i am a single user 
so I just put my name in there uh, if you are doing it on uh, for yourself you just change that to whatever you want uh, second thing is the repository name so this is important uh, you have to provide the correct repository name which should you have to provide the correct repository name because what is going to happen is this IAM role will only be able to assumed by these particular repositories github actions so if you provide the wrong repository name here and if you deploy everything and if things don't work most probably it's because your your your, your trust is not properly set up so make sure that you put the correct repository name here uh, leave this third parameter empty and the fourth parameter uh, is going to be the audience supplied by configurable audience supplied to configure aws credentials uh, that will be sts.amazonaws.com uh, next let's look at the condition so this condition says that you know create an im oidc provider if the arn of the im oidc provider arn is empty uh, that's what we want in the resources uh, first thing we are going to do is we are going to create an iam role uh, name it however you want it uh, in the principle uh, we are going to say uh, it's it's a federated principle for our github oidc and its conditions so here we are going to provide the conditions saying that the audience for this particular uh, iam role uh, trust is sts.amazonaws.com and the token uh, subject is supposed to be github organization which is going to be my name or it should it will be your name and the github repository the second parameter here what it means is if the call is made from these users get this particular github repository then only it will allow that role to be assumed otherwise it will not allow that role to be assumed so if you just take this as is and deploy it in your account it will not work you have to change the name and the repository name here and then you provide the the access that how whatever access you want that particular account uh, i am role to have uh, in our case we are going to give it administrator access but you can you know narrow it down to however many permissions you want to give it uh, second thing we are going to create is i am oidc provider and that's the provider that you know uh we can you know uh that will be the identity provider and that identity provider requires thumbnail uh, sorry it requires thumbprint list uh, this is an SHA so you can just google uh, saying uh, github thumbprint OIDC and you should be able to you know uh, pretty easily get it from the github blog saying this is their thumbprint And then we are going to create a bucket uh, this bucket is is the one that we are going to use to save our uh, state files for the terraform so make sure that you name it properly uh, i have named it the way i liked it but feel free to name it the way you want it so once you have all these things here make sure you change the github org and the repository name everything else you can leave as is uh, of course you may want to change the uh, IAM policies uh, or the access that you want to give but you can leave everything else is and we can go ahead and deploy this so this is our basic setup right so this will allow our github actions to assume this role and deploy some uh, some some stuff using terraform so let's let's go ahead and deploy this uh, cloud formation template so I will come to AWS console and click on create stake upload a file go to base cloud formation and base.yml click on open 
click next give it some name uh, base setup make sure everything looks good click next click next yes click submit okay so my s3 bucket is created im role is created and my im oidc provider is created and stack is create complete so let's see what it did so i will go to im and the first thing we are going to look at is identity providers so you can see that we have one identity provider we just created tokens.actions.github.usercontent.com click on it and you can see that this is the same uh, thumbprint that we provided this is the audience and now let's go ahead and look at the im roles and we named our im role as github actions role let's put it in there and you can see that it has administrator access but let's look at the trust policy so it says that allow this identity prover this im role to be trusted only by this repo so only this particular repository will be able to access it not anywhere else so if somebody else let's say figures out that this is what your im role looks like and they try to assume it it is not going to work for them because this is where we are specifying the condition so that looks good uh, next thing is we are going to create uh, our github actions so let's go ahead and do that okay now let's go ahead and see what our code looks like so our code is very simple uh, we have some terraform templates actually we only have one terraform template which deploys a vpc and it deploys four subnets to public to private and it creates an ssm parameter that's very simple uh, here is our providers so this is our aws provider we are going to save our uh, state files for terraform on s3 this is the bucket name for the s3 this is the key and this is the region where it will save it and and this is our aws provider version and the source pretty simple stuff uh, these are the variables for our terraform uh, template and these are the variable uh, values for the terraform template pretty basic uh, normal stuff now let's see how do we create these workflows in github which are the actions right so we have two workflows uh, vpc ci dev create and vpc ci dev destroy so create is a workflow that will be executed on the dev branch and it will only trigger if we make any changes to the files which reside in these folders so if i make any changes to a file in the vpc folder or in the vpc slash dev which has all our parameters if i make changes to any any file in these folders it will trigger the workflow and this is the account number this is my account number so make sure you change it to your account number otherwise it is not going to work uh, and then we specify some default values for the shell and the working directory and this is the permission uh, that we need to read the content and this is our jobs so our our job is deploy dev uh, it's gonna run on ubuntu and it needs these two permissions so id token write and the contents read if you do not specify these permissions uh, your workflow will not work uh, rest of the stuff is pretty simple uh, so we check out the code 
and then we configure the AWS credentials. This is where the magic happens. So when we reach this step in the workflow, what it will do is it will try to assume the, this IAM role uh, that we have created uh, in, uh, in the base template. And it will, because the way we have set up our temp, our IAM role is that it can only be assumed by the repository and the user name and repository that I'm executing this workflow from. So if you are running it in your account, make sure that you have made the correct changes in the base.yml file. Otherwise, this particular step is going to fail. It will not be able to assume the role. And also make sure that you change the account number here. Uh, and then we give the session a name saying github actions you can give that name whatever you want and then we set up a terraform with the specified version if you want to have a specified version you can specify it here or if you always want to work with the latest version you can just ignore that you know comment it out and then pretty much terraform stuff you know we say you know terraform plan uh, var file is dev slash terraform uh, dot tf vars because it has our values for the variables and then if the plan is successful then we click we do apply and this apply will actually go and you know uh, deploy the terraform templates now let's go ahead and do that and before we do that the destroy is just you know terraform destroy it's the same uh concept but this workflow will be run manually because we do not want this workflow to execute you know uh, by itself right so when we are done with the demo we will manually execute this workflow and it will go and destroy all the things that we just you know uh, created using the terraform template and it has pretty much you know uh, the same setup and only one command so that is all it has there is no there is no magic here it's pretty simple right so let's go ahead and see what do we have here so everything is good now we need to initiate the ci so what we will do is we will just make a simple change and just remove one line from tfvars file and we are on the dev branch, so we are good. Initiate CI, Get push. Now remember, because we, we pushed the code in the dev branch and we made a change in, in a file where our CI, which our CI is monitoring, which is inside dev, because these two conditions are true if we go here and if we look at these actions we can see that it has actually initiated our uh, workflow and if we click on it we should be able to see the logs and you can see that it is almost done it has terraform plan if you have a problem in configure AWS credentials uh, this step it means that either you have not set up your trust correctly or you have messed up the account number in the in the in the workflow file so just check that out and our plan is good and our terraform apply is good so now if we go to VPC and we click on it we should be able to see two VPCs and this is the VPC that we just created and what we will do now is we will go ahead and remove delete this VPC right so remember we created two workflows so if we come back to the actions we can see that VPC CI dev destroy and we click on run workflow and we say run it and it is going to refresh itself 
and it says the PCCI dev destroy is in progress and it's gonna do what it is supposed to do and it's destroying it and you can see that it has destroyed our VPC so if I come here and refresh it it's gone on the subnets that's just default subnets so this way we do not have to create access keys and secret keys or anything and we can have our github actions authenticate to our aws account using the im oidc provider so let me know how this works and if you have any problems uh, feel free to uh, put it in the comments and i will see if i can you know help you out so take care and good night